Hey guys, it's Kat and I'm back today to do my hashtag team project pan check-in and quarterly refresh. So I've been waiting for this. I've been preparing for it all month. Um, so essentially this is a series where it's a year long project pan. It's pretty much like full face. So pick, a, pick an item for each of your categories that you want to use up. And um, then as you use something up, you incorporate something else. So it's a rolling project pan going to see how much products I can use up. So if you're new to a project pan, there's quite a few reasons why we do this. I know it seems a bit crazy, but um, you really get use out of your makeup collection. So if you've got a larger collection, um, it can really help you start working through some of those items that um, you like, but don't really love. So a lot of these products I like, um, and I probably wouldn't repurchase them though. So they're sort of like not bad enough that I want to like throw out or give to someone else to try. But they're also not amazing enough that I'm like, these are my favorite and I wanna keep them in my collection, I wanna savor them. These are the sort of products that are that middle ground where I'm like, look, they're getting old, I wanna use them up, um, I don't need them anymore, I wanna try something else. So uh, that's why I do it. It also helps me really get through some makeup because I buy and receive a bit of makeup. So it's really nice to know that um, as makeup's coming in, you're also using up makeup, getting value out of what you've already spent. Um, and it also gives you a good perception of how quickly it takes to use a product. So if you know it takes you three to four months to use a foundation, then you can comfortably know that you can buy four foundations a year and they don't go off and sit in a drawer and just gather dust. So for multiple reasons, I really enjoy Project Pans um, and I've been doing it for years and I will continue to keep doing it. But this particular check-in is pretty important for me anyway, because it's the last refresh before the end of the year. And at the refresh, I'll do my normal things where I'll show you what I've used up. I'll show you the products that I'm replacing those with. I'll show you the progress on the other products, but I'll also tell you the products that I'm swapping out. So there are some products here that for whatever reason, I'm not loving the color at the moment. I'm not loving the finish. Uh, I'm just struggling with and I'm not using. So I'm swapping them out for things that I'm hoping I will use more. Now, because I'm so dedicated to the cause, um, in the last month, I pretty much have been mainly focusing on my Project Pan products. There are some products here that I didn't really touch. So I didn't use all of them, but I was really keen to use um, some of these products as much as possible. And I have used up a, quite a few products. So the first one is my primer. I knew last month that I would use this up because I only had a small amount left. One thing I have noticed about this project pan is it takes me around three or just over three months to use up a primer. So um, it's been an interesting one because um, whenever I hit the refresh, I've pretty much finished a primer and I'm organically gonna bring one in. But I will weigh this because we can see the progress from last month. So I did use quite a lot of this. Last month, this was at 14.23 grams and now it's at 7.93. And that would be the packaging because I can see through this now. There's a little bit of product on the sides here, but it's nothing major. It's hard to squeeze out so um, that's done and what I'm bringing in instead is also another silicon primer this is the Smashbox photo finish minimize pores primer so I've been quite liking silicon primers uh, this year because calm down guys you don't need to fight what are you doing there boogie don't fight with your sister don't fight with your sister good boy let go of her neck please let go of her neck so I have been really valuing silicon primers because I have started sort of pulling back on a lot of actives in my skincare because it causes me redness and irritation. But it also means that um, my skin is a little bit more textured than it is when I'm using acids and, you know, all that kind of fun skincare. So I do like using this because it creates a nice base. Uh, this one's supposed to be uh, eight hours oil control as well. We'll test that in summer. But I think this is a good one for the sort of warmer months coming up. All right, I wasn't sure if I was gonna get this done, but I did. So my fragrance by Katy Perry. Um, so what I'm doing, and I've been doing this for nearly two years now, I'm really trying to work through some of my old um, perfumes. I noticed that about five years ago, I bought a bunch of perfumes and now they're getting sort of old and I wanna use them up before they go off. So this is what it's up to now, it's empty. There'll be a photo on the screen where I was up to last month. Um, and I'm really happy about that because um, this was one that I didn't love, it was just all right. So that one's done. And I'm gonna replace that with one that I do really, really enjoy. This only has a small amount left. It's a tiny fragrance. I think it's a, it's a 30 mil. So this should be pretty easy to use up. And I have been using this for the past week or so. I was sort of testing different uh, fragrances. Like what do I wanna 
use and dedicate to for the next couple of months. And this one I really, really enjoy. So it's DKNY Fresh Blossom. This is one that I would repurchase. I don't know if it's still available. I actually should check that because I really love this fragrance and I actually do want it in my collection. It's just that it's getting old. Like I know I bought this probably about five years ago and I just know it's starting to seem like it's maybe turning a little bit and I don't like that, but it's only got a small amount left. So I probably will only have this for maybe another check-in or so um, because yeah, there's really not much left. So maybe we'll look at it like that. So tiny amount left, but it's a really beautiful fragrance. All right, last month I said I wasn't going to put pressure on myself to use this up. I'm just gonna use it organically. It's only been in my project for a couple of months and I used it up. So this is the um, Maybelline Age Rewind um, Concealer and it's in the shade medium and I pretty much started up here. And the good thing is because this is an airless pump, so um, as you use up the product, it pushes a lever down, you can mark where it was. So it was up here. Then it got to here and now it's completely finished. I actually finished this yesterday. I couldn't even do all my concealer with it because I only had a tiny bit left and I was a bit surprised that I used it up as quickly as I did. To be fair, I have been using sort of lighter weight foundations on a daily basis. Um, and what I tend to do with this is after I put my foundation on with a sponge, I'll like click a bunch of this because I actually took the sponge off. So it doesn't have to go through the sponge for me to apply it, I'll click a bit of it off onto the sponge and I'll use it to increase the coverage in the areas I need it. So a bit under the eyes, around the nose, on the chin, a little bit of the forehead. So I sort of treat this as a bit of a foundation, which is why I've gone through it so quickly, um, but it is what it is. Now, the one that I want to replace it with, um, I sort of realized this is one that I don't love and um, it is a little bit dark for me. So I thought, look, in the warmer months with a bit more bronzing, um, I'll use this a bit more. And like I said, I don't like it so much for as a concealer because I find that it's not enough coverage and you do have to apply a like quite a lot of it to get the coverage, which I'm not about that life. I sort of like a full coverage one and I apply a small amount. That's how I prefer to do my foundation and my concealer. But this is a It Cosmetics uh, Bye Bye Breakout Full Coverage Treatment Concealer. So it's for oily, acne prone skin. And this is also marketed as being a foundation, which I think is crazy because it's 10.5 mils. If you look at a foundation that's generally 30 mils, if you use that up in three to four months of regular use, um, this should be used up pretty quickly. And I do often use this as a foundation. So that's what I'm gonna do with this. I've got foundation still in my project pan, but I will sort of use this as a hybrid concealer foundation on days that I you know, just want to put a little bit of coverage on. Um, and I want to get this out of my collection because I don't enjoy it. I don't hate it enough to throw it out. I just don't enjoy it enough to want to keep it in my collection. Another product I used up was my lip balm. So this is the jam and bread watermelon lip balm. And this is completely gone. I even went to the, uh, like I actually gouged into it a little bit to use it. So this is done. You'll see on the screen where I was up to last month, it was just a tiny bit left. Um, I do like this lip balm, it smells really nice. I like watermelon, but um, yeah, it's done. Now, because I'm actually going to swap out a lipstick for a sort of tinted, I don't know, lip balm, lipstick hybrid type product, I'm not gonna include another lip balm, but what I will include, and this is a bit of a challenge for me because I don't often use these, but I do also like them. So uh, I'm gonna force myself to use it more. I'm gonna replace that lip balm with a lip scrub. So this is a Wet n Wild Perfect Pout Lip Scrub. It's a watermelon one, it's delicious. I love it, it brings me a lot of joy. I just wanna use it more um, because I should. I haven't had it in my collection for too long, but it's one of those things that I sort of want to get into the routine of using a bit more because I do know it's good for your lips. All right, we're getting to the end of products that I've used up, but we've got a couple of things to talk about. So I used up my Jergens uh, body lotion. So you can see on the side where it was up to, started there, went down there, uh, this first check-in and then second check-in and now it's done. So this is completely done, which is good. I do enjoy this. I actually have a backup already, but I don't want to open it just yet. Um, but what I want to replace that with is actually a body oil. So this has been in my collection for a long time. I might actually have two in my collection, possibly. So this is the Nooks um, multi-purpose dry oil for face 
body and hair. Now, that's a bit misleading. I wouldn't put it on my face and my hair. They say that if you use it on your hair, you should put it on before you wash your hair. So sort of as like a pre-wash treatment. Um, if you put this directly into your hair, like a hair oil, it'd be gross. But, um, you know, I'm starting to get the legs out a bit more and it's a bit warmer. So I'm going to start using this on my legs and body and see how I go. So it's only right up to the top. I've barely used it. I think I have actually used one of these in the past, but this one has been sitting in my collection for years. And I'm like, it's about time I get some use out of it. All right. This one is a massive one. It's not a product that I finished up, but it's a product that I hit pan on and that's what I wanted to do with this product and it's taken me all year. I literally introduced this at the very start of the year and we're now in October and I've hit pan on my MAC Mineralized Skin Finished in Soft and Gentle. Now I will be sad to see this go because I do really enjoy it but I also do want to move on to other highlighters and play with different colors so it is what it is but hopefully you can see and I will zoom in hopefully you can see I've hit the pan right in the middle so this has like a mesh not a mesh but it's like a I think it's like a ceramic sort of base that they bake it on so you can see the little um, pattern of the pan you'll see on the screen at my last check-in from last month where um, it had little dots so um, it was pretty much showing that it was getting to a point where you could maybe start seeing the little pattern on the pan, but we weren't quite there. But I, ooh, but I did hit pan um, about, uh, I think it was about a week ago. And I've just been trying to make that pan bigger to be like, I hope people can see it. Because it's not one of those metal pans that you can really see it reflecting the light. It's sort of, it's a bit funny. So I'll zoom in to show you. All right, so you can see the pan there, which I'm very proud of. And even though I'm very proud that I've hit pan on it and I want to keep this in my collection because I really love this highlighter, I just wanted to get more use out of it. And But it really goes to show uh, how long it takes to use up or hit pan on um, a, a highlighter. So I really like doing these projects for that reason as well. I've got like, I don't know, a drawer full of highlighters and I just know that if it's taken me 10 months to hit pan on the middle, um, it would probably take me maybe a year and a half to two years to use up the whole thing. Um, and if you think about that, when you're buying a new highlighter, you go, do I really need it? Am I really going to use it enough? Um, and I really do love this one. So I'm glad I hit pan on it and showed some love and got some use out of it. But I am also happy to swap it out because I want to keep this in my collection. And what I'm swapping it out with is um, a pixie highlighter. So this is a duo. I'm not going to like hit pan on this by the end of the year. I'm quite aware, but I do want to see some progress. This is the glowy... Gossamer Duo in Subtle Sunrise. I do have two of these. They've got two shade varieties um, and uh, it's got uh, 8.3 grams and this one has 10 grams. So there's no way I'm going to hit pan on these this year, but I do want to get more use out of it because they're really pretty colors. There is one, a champagne gold. Um, so Soft and Gentle is more like a nude champagne. It's more of a gold champagne and you also have a peachy color. So these are more colors that I will wear um, in the warmer months and they're really really beautiful you can sort of buff them in to make more of a wet look which is what I like to do but they're also pretty intense so they're beautiful highlighters and you have some sort of versatility there but they're the kind of colors I like to wear more in the warmer months so I wanted to um, give that one a crack all right speaking of Mac um, let's talk about the progress I've made on the products that I haven't yet finished up so this one is my bronzer it's the Mac Aphrodite shell bronzer I wanted to include this because it's a nice sort of rosy tone pink tone bronzer so it's nice on fairer skin I like these sort of shades in uh, the cooler months we're starting to get into the warmer months so I sort of want to use these up as soon as possible so I can sort of switch to slightly warmer bronzers, um, but I have made some decent progress. I've used this a lot, I'm wearing it today, um, and this is what it looks like. So there'll be a photo on the screen where you could see that pan shape again. Um, so unlike the highlighter where I get a smaller brush and just work at a smaller area, I've been using a bigger brush and doing like bigger motions. So more of the pan uh, sort of design is coming through. So I reckon by next month, I will have hit pan on this. Um, but you can definitely see a lot of the pan. The photo on the screen, you'll see that I started seeing that pan um, last month, but there is a lot more of it now. So that is what I'm up to. I've seen some progress on my foundations. This foundation uh, by Too Faced, the Peach Perfect, I've been using the heck out of it. Right now I can sort of see through um, and it's right down to like just that bottom bit there, that little triangle there. So um, I'm really, really keen to use this. I like this foundation 
on a daily basis, but um, it's not one I like to wear when I'm filming because it doesn't give me enough coverage. Um, I have to end up using a lot of concealer uh, like I have been, but I think I've made heaps of progress on this this month. Oh, another thing I don't like about it is that it, you have to only apply it with a sponge because it's very, very streaky with a brush. And as you try to put things on, like I've done today, uh, I was using a brush because my sponges were dirty and I went to go put it on my nose, but just as I put it on, it would just pick it back up. So I like the finish of it. I like how it wears, um, but the application is a little bit finicky for me. So, um, but I, I'm determined to use this up soon. So last check-in that was at 52.57 grams. Now it's at 44.6. So I've used quite a lot of grams of this. This does contain a lot though. It's 48 mils. So mils and grams aren't an exact conversion, but um, this is a larger than regular foundation. So um, like I said, if you get maybe three to four months of use out of a 30 mil foundation, you're going to get more like six months use out of this one. So it's been going for quite some time, but I am picking up the progress because the time before I only used about four grams. Now I'm using, what is it? Eight grams or something. So I am picking up the pace on this one and it should be done I reckon in the next month or two. Now because that one is a little bit too dark for me right now, I'm starting to get to the point where I can sort of use it on its own. I have been mixing it with another foundation that I put in my project pan. This is the light bulb foundation from Shuramura. It is way too light for me. I ordered it online, didn't realize how light and how pink it is, but it is a great mixing foundation because if anything is too yellow toned or too dark or too tanned for me, this really knocks it back down and brings it back to a neutral foundation and lightens it. So I love this as a mixing foundation to the point that I have made a lot of progress. So um, hopefully you can see there, um, it was there where I introduced it there last month and it's down to around here now. So I've even picked up the pace on this one. Um, but so you can see down here how much I've used. Um, but I am actually using this sparingly because I do have some darker foundations still in my collection that works really well with this one. So I'm sort of like, I want to use you up because this is a foundation I can't use on its own, but it's so good mixed with other foundations that I'm pacing it. All right, the last product that I think I've seen some decent progress on is actually by Bare Minerals Gen Nude Eyeshadow Primer. I use this every single day and I am getting to the point where it's very, very hard to use. Now, you won't be able to see. I wonder if I can get my um, flashlight. All right, hopefully you can see in the flashlight that there is very little product around the area that you can get the wand to. So there's product up the top, but I can't access that. And there's product right down the bottom, but I also can't access that. So what I might have to do, because I'm getting to the point where the wand is pretty dry when I'm taking it out, I'm going to jimmy the um, stopper out so I can access more product in there, get the product hopefully around here, work at that, and then I'm going to call it a day. But I did weigh this, so we'll see the progress. So last month it was 11.87 grams, and now it's 11.37 grams. So it doesn't sound like I'm using too much. It's about half a gram, but it seems like that's a consistent amount that I can use on a monthly basis. Um, I can't really ramp it up too much because I use this uh, pretty much 95% of the time I do my makeup. Um, if I'm using anything sparkly, I'll use a glitter glue. Otherwise I use this. So um, there's no way I can sort of use it more, if that makes sense. I'm using this at its maximum capacity right now. Um, and I think the limitation now is accessing the product. So um, hopefully I'll see some good results by um, popping out the stopper. All right, hand cream. So this is sort of my body product. Um, and this is the Bora Bora hand cream from Glass House. And I really enjoy this hand cream. I have it at my desk. Um, last month, I sort of forgot that it was in my project pan. Um, but then I remembered. So I've been using it this month. Let's see the progress that I've made. All right, making some good progress. Last time it was at 105.51 grams. Now it's at 82.83 grams. So um, I think I'm making, yeah, I'm making better progress than I did the last time around because I actually remembered it was in my project pan, but this is a nice hand cream. I use it when I'm at my computer. I like it on my feet sometimes when my feet are dry. So um, I have been using this happily. All right, when it comes to my setting spray, I actually did a lot better than I did the time before. I don't know if you can see. Um, so this is my Mac Fix Plus. It's the pink light uh, Fix Plus. I don't like it as much as the normal Fix Plus, but if you can see, um, I don't know if you can see properly, that was the first time I introduced it. That was last month. And now I'm making better progress slightly. Um, 
there we go. So this is gonna take me a while. Usually if I love the setting spray, I can really churn through this in about three months, but this one's taking a bit longer because I find this particular applicator and there's nothing faulty with it because this is the same with a lot of other uh, MAC fi Fix Pluses that I've used. It's just a very um, harsh sort of applicator. So it's not a nice fine mist where you feel like you can, you know, quite put quite a lot on and you're like, this feels great. It's sort of like, it's like, a, I don't know, it's water on your face. So I have to hold this quite far away and I can't put too, too much on. So um, I, there's times where I'm like, I forget about it because the experience isn't as good as other setting sprays that I've got in my collection. Um, and then there's times where I do use it, but I can't use too much because it gets too wet. So, so I am still working on this and I'm more than happy to keep it in my project pan because I am making progress and um, I would like to use this up by the end of the year. All right, before I get onto the things that I am actually swapping out and new things that I'm introducing, let's just touch base on a few other products. My hair product, which is the Shine Oil from Kevin Murphy. I don't use this often. Um, it sort of can make your hair look quite greasy, but I do like to use it when I've overused dry shampoo. Um, so if I've had a couple of days where I'm like ham with a dry shampoo, um, I do like to spray this into my hair a little bit to just take down some of that powderiness. So I am making very slow progress. I made a little bit of progress, not much. I do have it actually in my hair today, but yeah, not much progress, but slow and steady, that's fine. My ColourPop gel liner, I was actually thinking I might want to swap this out, but I am still making progress on it. So I'm like, if I can get this done by the end of the year, I'll be very happy. And I think when the last few months of the year rock around, I'm going to be wearing just black eyeliner. I'm wearing brown eyeliner today. Should have worn black, but black doesn't really like, it has a place, but I like to play with other colors these days. So um, I'm still making some decent progress, I think. I'll zoom in. So hopefully you can see that I really only have a corner um, you know, there's quite a lot in that corner, but there's not too, too much. And I'll have a photo on the screen where I was up to last time. I did clean it uh, so it's easier to see last time, but um, I have used it a few times. So yeah, I was debating about swapping that out for a different gel liner that like a brown that I might use more often, but I thought, no, I'm gonna be dedicated to the cause. And it's a little bit unrealistic to bring in a new gel liner at this stage of the year because um, there's no way I'm gonna make too much progress on it. So I'll keep going with this one. Benefit 3D Brow Tones. Don't love this product. Um, I don't use it too often. I use it occasionally. I make a little bit of progress. I'm gonna keep going um, until the end of the year, but I know the progress is pretty crap. But because of that, I am actually gonna be introducing a new brow product um, at the end of this, but let's weigh it. All right, so every month I make a fraction of a gram. It was at 19.13 grams. It's at 18. 0.98 grams so a very small amount but still progress nail product that has literally been in my project pan since february this is a nail oil um i do use it look i use it between the times i'm wearing nail polish so um i put this on yesterday i wore this a couple of days leading up to me painting my nails but it's really hard to use heaps of it but as long as I'm making progress, which I am, very small amount of progress. I've used nearly a gram. So it was at 48.36 grams. It's now at 47.4 grams. So um, I am using a little bit of it. This only contains 15 mils. So how do I use a gram? And I still feel like I've got a lot to go. I've been using this since February, but I've got no other nail thing that I really want to target. So um, this is going to stay. All right, with uh, lip products, look, there's a failure and there's also an update. So the update's gonna be on my Gen Nude Mini Lip Gloss. Um, this is one I'm gonna keep in because I do quite like it. It's one of those ones that I sometimes put in my handbag. I use it when I'm out, then I forget to use it when I'm at my desk. Um, and then sometimes I have it at my desk, but I wanna reach for it when I'm out. It's not in my handbag. It's just one of those ones that sometimes I lose. Sometimes it's in the wrong handbag. So, so I haven't made as much progress as I'd like, but hopefully there's progress. Very small. It was at 16.78 grams. Now it's at 16.37 grams. So I'm gonna keep this in. I think I can use this up by the end of the year and I don't mind the lip gloss. It'd be nice over my current lip, um, but... There we go. Um, and now we're getting into swapping things out and introducing new things. Now, my little Shiseido lipstick, um, I really wanted to see how much I was gonna use in the last month and the answer was not much. There'll be a photo on the screen, um, but I probably used this, let's say four times. I just don't love it. So it's a color that looks quite light on me and it also, 
is a thin formula and it's a little bit sheer. So it kind of looks like it emphasizes patchiness sort of. So it's not my favorite lipstick. I don't want to use it. And whenever I reach for it, I sort of put the lip gloss over the top um, or I put another lipstick over the top because I don't like the finish of it. So it's one that I'm actually going to get rid of. I don't want it. I don't need it. So it's going. What I am replacing that with, however, is this Bobbi Brown product, which I've been reaching for a lot. Uh, it's been in my handbag and I've been really enjoying it. So um, look, if you wind it down, that's how much I've used. And I've only been using this sort of fairly recently. But what this is, is the extra lip tint in Bare Nude. So it is like a fancy lip balm. It's slightly tinted, but it's very, very thin. It's not sticky or heavy. So this is one that once again, it's just a nice shine on the lips. Um, and I like to wear this when I'm wearing not much makeup or if like today I'm wearing um, sort of like a matte lip and towards the end of the day, I'm like my lips are feeling a bit chapped. I'll reach for this just to put a little bit on top and it's just a really nice product. So I thought, um, yeah, this is what it's at as I'm introducing it, but I feel like I can work on that and really enjoy that, um, unlike the Shiseido one. All right, my MAC Melba blush, I'm actually going to swap out. I really like this blush. It's a beautiful peach blush and I've had it in, I think I've had it in my project pan for, is it three months or six months? I don't know, a while. I've had it in for a while, but I've seen no dent on it. It is much more used than it was when I introduced it and I really love this blush. It's the only reason I'm swapping it out, I love the color. And I really love these peachy shades, especially for the warmer weather, but I really want something that has a little bit more luminosity to it. So what I've decided, and I tried all month to find blushes that I was sort of happy with um, committing to for another three months, um, is another MAC blush. And this is in the shade Margin. So instead of a matte, this is a frost. Sounds horrible, but it's a beautiful peachy nude shade. I'm wearing it today. So I'm wearing it with a little bit of the... Um, MAC uh, Soft and Gentle, but if you don't look at the highlighter, if you look at the blush, it gives a beautiful a luminosity to the face, which I really like. So I could easily use this on a daily basis, use it as a blush and highlighter in one because it gives that glow, but I really like that glow in the warmer months. So I want to target this. Um, I just want to get more use out of it. If I hit pan, great. If not, well, at least I'm enjoying my blush collection. All right, another thing I'm swapping out in my project pan is my Marc Jacobs black liner. I just don't use it. Um, it's a pencil liner. I don't, I mean, there's no progress on it. I think I've used it once in the last month. And one thing I've noticed is that when I do wear a black liner, I use a gel. I use a gel on, on like use a wing and then I will use the gel on the waterline as well. So for me, this doesn't really do much. I don't need it. I might keep it, no, I might get rid of it. It's going with the Shiseido thing. I don't need it. But what I'm swapping it out for is a very different eyeliner. This is um, a By Terry eyeliner and this is in a beautiful shade. It's in the shade Royal Navy. And I've had this for so long that I've realized it's getting to the point that it's starting to dry out. It used to be super, super creamy. Um, and now it's a little bit dry, which is, which is a shame because it's a beautiful pencil. I love it on the waterline, um, but it's just one that because it was so expensive and it's such a bright color, I was like, look, I won't use it too much. I'll just hold off. And now it's getting to the point where if I don't use it, I'm going to waste it. So I'm, that's what I'm doing. So right now it is this big. So the majority of the pencil is there. I have used a lot of it, but um, it's, yeah, it's at the top of where it says crayon. I'll sort of use that as a guide as I use it down. I will take a photo of it at this stage so we know where it was at, but um, I really want to use this up because if I don't use it, I'm going to lose it. Two products I'm taking out. Um, I'm taking out my Smashbox contour stick just because I like this product. Um, I originally thought, look, I, I need to use this up because I've had it for a long time, but now I've sort of found a good use for it. I don't use it too often, but I really like having it in my collection. So I don't want to use it up anymore. I'm taking it out. And same goes for my uh, Kylie lip liner in Dolce K. I did express that I love using this all over the lips. It's a beautiful color and I'm determined to try to find a dupe before I use it up. Now I ordered a bunch of uh, lip liners from ColourPop. Someone in my last video, my last uh, Project Pan video mentioned the shade that is a perfect dupe for this, but it's been discontinued. So I can't go with ColourPop to find the same one, but I might take this to like a Mac store or, you know, Mecca or Sephora and try to find a dupe for it because I really love the color and, um, or I can just repurchase it. Whatever happens, I'll figure it out. But um, before I use this up, I want to find a dupe. So I'm taking this out. 
All right, one thing that I was contemplating taking out of my project pan because I haven't used it in the last month, but I thought, no, I'm still determined to use it up. Just right now, I um, am doing other eyeshadow stuff, um, but it's the NARS Kalahari Duo. So I've made no progress on this since last month. I do want to hit pan on this one before the end of the year and try to use this one up, but um, I'm making slim progress on that. But what I've decided to do is add something else in anyway. Now, this is a mini Steeler Magnificent Metal, so it's a glitter and glow in the shade Kitten Karma. This is just a tiny mini that I got in a Mecca Beauty loot box and um, I've had this for a while. I've got other bigger sizes of it. So um, this is one that I'll weigh so I'll get the original weight but I want to add this in because um, I don't know it's starting to dry out a bit and I just thought look if I can get some more use out of it before it dries out um, I will try to do that. So we'll see how I go with that. Last month I used up a powder and a brow pencil and I said I want to sort of try products um, over the next month to decide what I want to add in and I figured out a few things. Firstly, uh, brow product, I'm bringing in my Cabrow Brow Pomade in the shade 3.5. Um, my battery's going, damn, I've got to hurry this up. Now, I really like this. Um, I'm going to weigh it or take photos of it. Uh, it's something that I've been using a lot in the last uh, month and I'm just sort of thinking it's starting to feel like it's drying out a bit, so I want to focus on this. I also found a powder from Pixie that I never used because I didn't like the format of it. So this is a translucent powder. It's called the Quick Fix Powder in translucent in translucid. Um, anyway, it's a powder that's got a little mirror and then you open it up. Oh God, this is going to be a mess. Um, it used to have a sponge on it. So I actually just pulled this off yesterday. It's a sponge that was in it. It sort of sucked up a bit of powder and then you sort of puff it onto your face. I never used it because I never liked it. So I pulled it off, but this packaging's really bad. So putting that back on, but there isn't much product in there, but I might have to depot that into something else to use it. But I just thought it's a powder that's actually not a bad powder, just don't like the format of it and will never use it. So I thought it's a good time to sort of dedicate some time to using it up. And the last thing I want to add in is something that there's not much product left in here. This is um, by Dermalogica. So it's a skincare item. It's a multivitamin power firm. It's sort of like, a, I don't know, there's so much rubbed off on that. So the way they say you use this is like under your eyes, you can put on your lips as a treatment. Um, you can put on other areas that have signs of aging. But what I really like about this, the consistency is sort of like a silicon primer and it really helps blur whatever you put it onto. So I thought um, I can use this as sort of like an under eye primer. So put it on before I do my makeup put on my normal primer, put on my makeup. And um, this is just something I've had in my collection for a while. Clearly I've used it quite a bit, but um, it sort of sat to the side and I just thought this is a good opportunity to force myself to incorporate into my routine a bit. I also have a backup of it. So if I really like using it under my makeup, um, at least I've got like a good use for the next tube. All right, so that is it. That is my refresh, exciting. We've got a bunch of new products in. We've got some products used up. We've got some products that I don't like heading out. So um, hopefully the next three months, I'll see some good progress. And then right at the end, what I'll do is a recap of how many products I used up this year, how many products I hit pan on, how many products I took out of the project pan, um, and just sort of a recap of how things went. So yeah, I don't know if I'll do that in December or early January, but we're nearly there. We're nearly there. The year is going very fast right now. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.